The central focus of my research is to develop methods and tools to help people understand and create sound. We have many large collections of audio um, these days. We're constantly collecting uh, recordings. So with AI, we can extract all sorts of information from audio signals. We can do automatic speech recognition and detect the content of the speech. For environmental sound, uh, we can extract different uh, animals so we can monitor biodiversity and animal, mi animal migration patterns. And we can use it for medical applications too, so like listening to our lungs and, and heart and trying to uh, um, identify different problems uh, using machine listening there as well. Another area that I've gotten into more recently is in sound accessibility. The 500 hours per second of video that's uploaded to YouTube, right? There's sound in all of these videos. How can we build tools to help describe the sound in these videos? So basically automated audio captioning tools that are aligned to the needs of deaf and hard of hearing people. So one project that I, that I worked on for a long time was to build machine listening tools to understand the sources of noise pollution. So there we had smart sensors deployed around New York City and one of our goals is to build machine listening models to detect these different sources of noise pollution and thus you know, develop strategies for mitigating that noise pollution as well. My work today involves working with professional sports teams. For example, with Zealous Analytics, we work with baseball teams, basketball teams, hockey, football, cricket, soccer, golf. So, so yeah, data science and AI are impacting um, all of the major professional sports. For example, in basketball, the NBA has a contract with the data provider. So the way data is collected is from image recognition, collecting the locations of the players, their, their arms, their every joint on their body. The amount of data that's collected every game, it ends up being about 100 million data points every game. So the insights we provide to the teams are uh, anywhere from player development, uh, player evaluations, in-game strategy, so whether a player is finding an open teammate at the right moment. My job at the Sixers involved a lot of uh, analysis of players, analysis of the opponents. Going to NJIT really helped me prepare for the work I do today in playing basketball at the college division one level. And from a mathematical standpoint, I studied applied math for undergrad and graduate degree. The skills I've learned there in terms of uh, coding, data processing, uh, building the visualizations of, of the data prepared me for a career in AI and data science. So our research focuses on collective dynamics, which is basically how crowds, bacteria, insects move. One real problem that my research is seeking to solve is, is understand how people move in a space. So if, say, you are in the Grand Central Station in New York, you're pretty confident how to move around and when to, where to go to to get your train. But now if you're like a robot, you will need somehow to describe to the robot like these rules. That's where my research comes in. That research is very important to many, many real-world applications. For example, crowd control in case of emergencies, crowd control in case of you have, say, a fire, an earthquake. You want to understand how quickly can people escape. There's so many areas of life that AI is being used. For example, medical applications, uh, weather prediction, uh, emergency classification, anomaly behavior detection. So AI is just uh, another tool that helps us uh, kind of get to where we want to go. My research focuses on solving global grand challenges. What we do is we work with companies, we work with governments who have problems that they'd like to solve. Often these problems involve very large data sets. One area where we perform a lot of research is in cybersecurity and national security. For instance, we look at the vulnerability of our software supply chain. We focus on data science problems that include artificial intelligence, machine learning, and graph analytics. Machine learning allows us to find patterns that we can train an AI on 
and be able to find new occurrences of that pattern. At NJIT, we recently launched a master's degree in artificial intelligence. I believe a university like NJIT will be very successful commercializing new models. Our faculty, our students can start new endeavors, new businesses around this new economy of data. I think NJIT also does a really good job in terms of teaching students to communicate the, the technical aspects, the research programs that they do, publishing academic papers, going to conferences, and communication skill is very important in tech fields, and you really can't, can't go without it. Being a part of a polytechnic university enables me to kind of discover new problems that uh, I can pursue in my research. So at NJIT, we, we have collaborated with people from psychology, cyber psychology, uh, biology, architecture. We have people from all walks of life, coming from all countries around the planet. And so this area is just absolutely vibrant for being able to do AI research and make the world a better place. <laughs>